Hi guys, welcome back. We're gonna do another 100 day project project today. Um, we're using Dilutions coloring sheets, which I've gone through this pretty well. There's only a few left in it. These are fun. These are printed on really heavy, like nice watercolor paper. And they're just what they say, they're for coloring. So I already did some, um, little bird. And I don't know if I have a full sheet of that one left to show you. I do not. Here's what's left of it after I cut it up. And I mean, some of it's still usable, so I'm gonna keep it. When in doubt, put a bird on it. <laughs> and then these fl this flower is actually part of a bigger flower. I just wanted a little part. And then I have a couple of leftover die cuts from something else. So I'm gonna put this, I think, like right here. And then the birdie can kinda be on it. So let's start gluing. This um, background was done with a jelly plate and acrylic paints, and then the circles were done with with um, bottle caps. I've got a little collection of different sizes that I've kept over the years, and they make great marks. They're really, really good for that. So I'm gonna put this right about here. Just simple. This one's gonna be pretty simple. And then, hmm, I want to put this right here. It's one of those leafy leafies. I'm gonna need to use some that medium with a paintbrush though, because it's tiny. Tiny. Okay. There we go. Hope everyone's having a good week. Hope spring is sprung wherever you live. Spring is definitely well underway here. We've been ha having temperatures into the 80s. Oops. So Sam and I have been very happy because we like the heat. My garden is going crazy right now. We had two solid days of rain, which, you know, on the one hand sucked because it was raining and it's hard to do a whole lot in torrential downpours. But on the other hand, Dude, the garden is so happy. So, so happy. And then I'm going to put one of these leaf cutouts here, too. There we go. A little burb. He can go there. And I think I'll put this flower. Ooh, I went up there, huh? Nope. I think I want to I think I want to put this little leftover die cut behind it just for a little more blue, I think. Yeah. Hope you agree, because I think it's a good idea. Stick this down on here. This little die cut is a Spellbinders. Really cute little floral set, and sometimes I'll just sit and cut. Oh. Just sit and cut some. Then I have them in my stash. That's the last one, so I gotta cut some more. Right there. A little more. Medium to glue this down. Which way do we want it? Oh, yeah, look at that. I want it that way. I want it that way. Here and maybe once I get the burb on, we'll see if I can use anything else. Because I do have Diane's um, order stamps. A little, a little order. I don't know, maybe you won't need it. They look cute all on the own. Stick him. I'm going to let his feathers. No feathers go off the page. Stick them down. Yeah, so this one's going to be pretty simple. But I already had that background done. I started out doing the jelly plate, jelly arts, um, 30 days of jelly printing. I got about halfway through it, and then some of the prompts I just, because I'm not really. 
I haven't used the jelly plate a whole lot. So some of the prompts I was not um, like coming up with ideas for and I my brain got tired. So I got about halfway through it and then I quit. But this is one of the backgrounds from it. This out. Put a bird on it. Sounds like good advice. I do. It looks weird that way, doesn't it? Blend it down. Oh, let's see. Positioning. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I did it that way, right? I'm doing. Put a bird on it. Yes, Diane. We'll put a bird on it. Oh, Diane had a live. Diane Reedley had a live yesterday on Facebook for her new new stuff that just came out. And it was it wasn't a big release, but she does like mostly paint, so. You know, right now there are supply issues for plastic and rubber and stuff, so. They're not having trouble making her paint, but just getting, like, the, you know, the supplies to put, um, oh, there we go, put, um, the paints in and all that stuff. So it wasn't a very big release, but a couple of colors of her paints that I really like, she did in shimmer, so I'm, like, super excited. So if my current Ranger order ever arrives, I'm going to have to place a Diane order. Okay, I think he needs some stickles. And I think maybe I need some flowers like up on the top, right? Because it's kind of blah out there. Let's do true blue. True blue. Come on, buddy. There we go. Always get your stickles going somewhere else because. Now, really you should store your stickles upside down to make them work better but I store my stickles on an old printer's tray that hangs on my wall so because it's pretty it's the basis of my wall of glitter so I keep a couple of pins handy you know all that type of stuff but my stickles need a little oops little come back a little extra loving You know, I don't usually do stuff with curse words on it, but <laughs> this is going to be my next one. It cracks me up. Or maybe I'll use it for a full on art journal page, but it's definitely getting used because I think that's funnier than crap. Get your head out of your bleep. It's not a hat. There's people I like to say that to. But I've gotten really good at church polite, so I don't say those things anymore. And 
there how much I want. Okay. Let's color a little bit of this. And use some. And I think I'm just going to use these first three sections of the base. These are just cheapo Michaels brush markers. I really don't recommend them. I think they suck a little bit, but I need some markers in a pinch. And I'm a crafter on a budget, so I need to get some Tombows again. I had Tombows back in the day, and then, you know, because we used to do a lot of coloring right on your rubber stamp, you know, stamping color. And, uh, when, when they were wearing out, I just didn't replace them because I wasn't doing that so much anymore. But I might get some. Start getting them to, you know, color. I bet you Simon says stamp carries them. Maybe in June I can do a decent Simon order. And I'm thinking I might want to do either their card kit monthly thing. Or Spellbinders. The Spellbinders one actually looks really good. Or even Tonic. Because they put like Nuvo drops and stuff in there. So I'm like, ooh, fancy stuff. Maybe I want some fancy stuff. But I don't know. I haven't decided. Big commitment. I was considering myself a 100 day product failure too because I got to about day 55, it was either like 55 or 57, and then I started getting behind and I was like, I'm never gonna catch up. And then I got caught up, but then I still felt guilty because it's not the point of it. Right? The point of it is to do something creative every day to help you build that habit. And I, I, I mostly have that habit, but. This has been hard for me, and I think maybe oh, I need yellow. Maybe I uh, was a little too ambitious, you know, thinking I could do super awesome things every single day for 30 days in a half an hour, and y'all, that was <laughs> not happening. So, yeah, I had a little bit of failure, failureitis. So I think if I decide to do this next year, I'm going to have more of a plan. Like this time, my only thing was, well, I'm going to do these four by four things. And I didn't know. I think next time, maybe I'll do like the coins, little round things, and have, you know, either a certain subject or, you know, all watercolor, all wash, all something. Cause it's, I don't know, that's stressful for me. I got stroke brain and some days it's hard for me to come up with something, excuse me for the sniff. So, I don't know. I don't know, I'd like to know if any of you guys, like the whole three people that watch my videos, <laughs> um, have done, are doing the 100 day project and if you've had difficulty keeping up with it or has it gone like super well for you Tell me, because then if it has, I can be jealous and, you know, jealous and happy for you all at the same time. I love these images Diane uses. And I don't, like Tim, I know he says he doesn't draw anything. He just licenses things. I don't know. Diane sketches any of hers. Or if hers all come from somewhere else, but... They're cute. And even her super snarky ones are just they're cute. <laughs> Makes the snark okay. Oh, so our lease was up on our car. Uh, well, it's actually up in July, but you know, we could early bird out of it because just cause. So we a couple weeks ago 
Went up and met the kids on Saturday at Ormond Beach so I could force my son-in-law to see me and um, to get the grandbaby. Because normally my daughter, we just meet in Ormond Beach on Fridays. I'm like, well, dad's off Saturday. Why don't we have lunch Saturday? And that way I can force, force Colby to see me. She's like, yeah, sure. So that's what we did. And uh, there's, which Ormond Beach is kind of, oh, see, that's going to help, isn't it? Is, um... like between Daytona and Jacksonville. It's an hour and a half drive for me, it's an hour for my daughter. So it's just after you get past um, LPJ Boulevard, the uh, exit for Mom Beach is there. So my husband's like, hey, there's a Lincoln dealer in, in uh, Daytona Beach, I'm like sweet. So we're looking up their inventory and stuff and we decide to pull in because I've been telling him I want to drive stuff so that when our lease is up, I can just, you know, we can just get the thing and I don't have to do any of this haggling or, or you know, waiting for them to find it because I was even going to do the finding it and, you know, go with a printed sheet and say, look, here's the one I want. It's right here. Dealer's ready to go get it because I just, I don't want the house over, right? There. Oh, that's better. I needed that right there. And I think that needs to stick with me too. Um, so, I don't have any yellow, any golden rod left. So we're just going to have to use gold in it. So, we pull in, and as we pull in, well, as we pull in, because there's like, it's a really long, windy driveway type thing, because it's in an auto mall, so there's like 12 dealers back, you know, different brands back there. So... We pull in, it's torrential downpours, so we're like, we're not getting out right now. Well, as I'm looking through their inventory, a little pop-up pops up. How can we help you? Sign up here for information. So I did. And it's a late Saturday, so I'm thinking, you know, I'm going to get an email Monday morning. Oh, no. Ten seconds later, my phone rings. And my husband's all, who's that? And I'm like, oh, it's probably them. And he's like, oh, my God, what'd you do? I said, well, I filled out the information thing. I didn't think they'd do that fast. And, uh... So they call and she's like, well, tell me what you're looking for, blah, blah, blah. Sorry, that's not in the shot, is it? Have I been down that low the whole time, you guys? I'm sorry. Um, so, she's all, you know, what are you looking for? I'm telling her and she's like, well, you guys want to, if you want to come in, I can send somebody out with an umbrella. And I'm like, no, we got the grandbaby and he needs changed and I'll just, you know, we'll wait till it, it dies down. Well. As we're having this conversation, guy shows up with an umbrella. So we get out, we go in there, and I tell him what, what we're looking for, you know. Because at this point, we're down to two. We were down to three, and I we test drove one, and I was like, yeah, no, that's not gonna work. Because we're buying this one, I'm, I'm done with the leasing. So we're down to two. And so I gotta let that dry a little bit. But yeah, I'm happy with that, you guys, that's cute. So we, um. You know, tell them what we're looking for, and the rain let up, so we test drove um, the one, and it was the bigger of the two we were looking at, so I was like, oh yeah, this is the one, this is fabulous. So they're like, okay, here, fill out the financing paperwork, which we did, and they're like, we'll find it, and I'm like, well, just remember, I got two months left on my lease, so I'm not in a hurry. I just, I just wanted to know exactly what I wanted to get when I came in, so it could just be fast. And they were like, okay, we got you. Well, as we're filling out the financing paperwork, dude comes back, he's like, hey, we found one. Do you like red? Yep, I like red. Okay, it's at another dealership in Daytona. So we're gonna dealer trade and we'll get it. And we'll have it probably like Wednesday. Cause this was Saturday. So okay. He's like, if you want, you can leave your car. I'll do all the lease term and paperwork and we'll give you a loaner. I'm like, sweet. Even though I'm an hour halfway, you're like, yeah, sure. So. Gave him my car, which we had a Lincoln MKZ hybrid. Good car. It's a really good car. But they don't make them anymore. So, you know. I had to either buy that one or get something else. And I decided I would rather get something else. So, we leave it. They gave us an MK, a Lincoln MKZ to drive, which is actually what we had before the white car. So, I was like, oh, yay. I get to drive one of these for a few days. Tuesday comes. Salesman calls me. He's like, um... It's, it hasn't hit the ground yet, but we were thinking like Wednesday or Thursday anyway, but I just wanted to let you know. I said, okay. 
Calls me Wednesday, nothing. Calls me Saturday morning, my husband's at work and he's like, so-and-so talked to Pete. And I'm like, well, I didn't know that, Pete's at work. He's like, oh, well, the other car, the red car still has not made it. It's still in transit. We don't know when or if it's ever going to, you know, when it's going to get there. And at this point, by the time it gets there, it might be promised to somebody else. So we have one here that's silver and it's everything you want, It's but it's a little more expensive because there's more stuff on it. And I was like, oh, let me talk to Pete. And, he, and, and his name is Glenn. Glenn says, well, give me a call, sweetie, you know, when you talk to him. So as I'm getting off the phone with Glenn, my husband calls. He's like, you know, it's more money, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I keep telling you, I don't want to have to be concerned about the payment. He's like, yeah, but they can't find, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay, but don't cry to me when we don't have money to go do stuff because we have this giant car payment. So Pete calls Glenn back, says, yeah, we can be there. When do you want us there? So 11.30 Sunday morning. Okay. That meant we had to skip church, which I was a little sad about. But you guys... <laughs> We have this little blue MKC, and I, oh, uh, I should have had pictures of her. So pretty, so pretty. We are, you know, a mile from the house. We had just gone through one stoplight. We're on Wickham Road, which is like one of the main roads in, in our town. So we went through the stoplight. We went into the Starbucks to get, get coffee. We came out of Starbucks, and there's a, a lane divider, so you got to go up and around and do the whole U-turn thing back at the light again. So we come through the light again. Two deer come out from the right and we're like wait a minute deer on Wickham Road and because of the shock of it it took Pete a minute like a little longer to react than he would normally right because you don't expect to see deer in the middle of your city so <laughs> the one you know she just kept going but the second one got I think she got spooked because she like did the whole freeze thing and then she turned and went the other way so she came across us and we hit her and now, mind you, we had just gotten, both got large coffees at the Starbucks. And mine was iced coffee, which has a bigger hole in the lid. So, the coffee boinged out of the lid, because we hadn't drank it yet, we had just pulled out. Coffee all over the car, coffee all over me, coffee all over my phone. My phone wouldn't charge anymore the rest of the day, because there was coffee in the hole. Um, and he's like freaking out, that damn deer. Blah, 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 blah. I'm like, you can't be mad at the deer, she got scared, it's not her fault. He's like, I know, but this was, you know, this is our car to wreck. So we pull into the, the racetrack gas station and um, we're looking at the car and not a scratch on it. I wiped a couple of hairs off of the headlight. That was it. We checked underneath it. He did all this because he's a mechanic. He knows what he's looking at. Well, I went in to get napkins and stuff and I got some and I came back out and it wasn't enough. And, and Pete says, hey, you need to grab something to eat, too, because you need this morning. I have diabetes, so he's always worried about it. So I go in there, and like they're little breakfasty things, I look for the one that has the least amount of carbs in it, which was basically a pig in a blanket. It's pretty good, though. So I go up with another stack of napkins and the sandwich, and the little girl's like, how's your day? And I said, well, I'm stealing all your napkins. And she's like, I see that. What's up? And I said, well, we just hit a deer out there on Wickham Road, and my car is full of coffee. 20 ounces of coffee is a lot of coffee when it's a little car. And she's like, oh my gosh. She says, have a better day, love. And I'm like, oh, thanks. And I've got my uh, money out in my hand. And I go to hand it to her. And she says, no, have a better day. And she pushes my little pig in a blanket to me and doesn't would not take my money. I like about star balling, y'all. Stuff like that doesn't happen outside of Disney World. I'm just saying. So, you know, we get back on the road. We're a little way up the highway, probably like 20 minutes, in torrential downpour. Torrential Florida downpour, where you can't see. Like, if I was the one driving, I would have pulled over. Okay? So we're just, oh my gosh, we're like, this is going to be the worst day ever. We hit a deer, now the rain, the car that we're getting is probably, you know, not going to be there or something or whatever. But by the time we got up there, it was bright and sunny and shiny, and we got our car, and it was a lovely experience, and um, they all like us there. <laughs> So, yeah, that's great. So, we got a Lincoln Nautilus. So, you have to call me Captain Nemo now. And, uh, like, you can have, like, your own profiles in there for, like, up to three, three or four people, I think. So, my husband, he was like, well, what captain can I be? I said, you're not the captain. I'm the captain. You got to be my first mate. He says, I am not putting first mate Pete in here. So, 
he decided to be Captain Barbosa <laughs> from um, Pirates of the Caribbean. So I was like, yeah, I like that because he's pretty funny. <laughs> so yeah, there's our car saga. So I want this to be the last car I buy. So hopefully this will be the last car I buy. Pete still wants an F-150 in a couple years down the road. So hopefully that'll work out for him. But yeah, I just hopefully it's my last car. So that's our car saga anyway, but she's really pretty. So here's our little quickie for today. Um, gotta let the stickles dry. But I think that's it. It was simple, right? So that's all I got for you today. Remember, be excellent to each other. Have a lovely day. Go make something. Bye.